YouTube says it has had enough of vaccine misinformation on its site. And false stories from phony sites to run circles around major news outlets. Many people don't know the difference between something real and something created to deceive them. Open your eyes. If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I did a video over on my website, a call for an uprising.com, just talking about the Titanic in general. And of course, this huge story they keep talking about, about the Titan, the submersible submarine that went missing. And of course, this is all obviously something that is done by design. Now, that doesn't mean that the story is true or not true. I talked about how one of the members on that ship, of course, were was somebody who was a member of the World Economic Forum. But these stories don't become mainstream stories unless they want them to be. Now, sometimes they use these stories that are true as distractions, and then other times these are parts of rituals. I will get into The Simpsons, of course, using sigil magic once again, which people don't realize why The Simpsons constantly show us future events. It's because this is a form of witchcraft and sorcery. This is stuff they don't want you to know about. This is why I constantly get censored. I get censored because I'm not sitting here keeping you in the left-right paradigm. There's a reason that a lot of the alt-right guys never get strikes and never have an issue. Because as long as they keep you trapped, whether it's MAGA or whether it's the liberal insane side, as long as they keep you trapped in that, then they're doing what the government wants them to do. But if you're exposing Satanism and witchcraft and sorcery and how these people work and the deception they are using and the CIA and how they're all using these mind control tactics, that's stuff they don't want you to know about because it starts opening your mind. Now, one of the things that we've seen happen with my channels is I've covered signs and symbols over the years. A lot of people are like, oh, that stuff's not really important. Why don't you go into this detail? Well, I've covered most things. I'm one of the people who broke the pizza story when it happened. Nobody was covering it. Now it's a household term. Okay, and most people who are subbed to me still know that for a fact. I was going through all of that stuff, the symbols and the signs that were located in the places around the establishment of the pizzeria in D.C. I can't even say the name because the algorithm will read it. But those are things I've always covered, and the signs and the symbols always reveal this stuff. So we're seeing huge pushback on my channels now because they're realizing that what I've been doing and showing you the signs and symbols and the repetition which is the tactic they use to mind control you, is actually helping wake people up by showing you over and over again how these people, these celebrities are doing this, how it's not art, how there's clearly something here that people should notice, the all-seeing eye stuff over and over. And they're just giving me strikes for bullying or harassment like they did yesterday. I put up a video about the flash and about how there was a microwave and how there was a child in the microwave. And I talked about the guy who happened to conveniently, coincidentally, play the role of the flash and his connection to the occult and Satanism and the accusations made against him. The video was taken down in under two hours. That video is available on my website. Now, if you haven't joined the website yet, I highly recommend you join it. I'll just do a quick talk about it real fast here. Call for an uprising.com. It's 10 cents a day. It's $2.99 a month. There's unlimited content. All of my old videos are going up over there. I'm going through archives now to get everything up. They used to still be available here on YouTube, so I didn't bother putting them up because people could go to my old channels. They're all gone now. So I'm going through all that, getting it up there so it's archived, so you can go there. You can watch as much as you want. And of course, to go into the forum, interact, share information, talk to one another, fellowship, and share stuff with me so I can cover it or I can learn from you about what's going on. We're all in this together. Nobody's smarter than the other person. We're all on the same team. And just like they're united in their common goal to destroy society, and to have society brainwashed into worshiping the Antichrist because they're all Satanists, we need to be united and bonded in this truth. It doesn't mean we're going to agree on everything, but overall, we all have the same common goal. So the website helps people stay connected. You might say, well, you know, we have forums on Reddit. Those things are all going to be wiped off. Not to say my website won't be shut down in the future, but not yet. First, they're going to go after social media companies like we're seeing. Then they're going to go after Reddit. Eventually, they're going to get Rumble, where everyone thinks it's safe. So that video of The Flash is available over on the website, as well as other content. If you don't know about the quarantine in Florida, you should know about it. Could be a blueprint for the next uh, outbreak that occurs, where you know they've realized that a lot of people aren't fearful of these boogeyman diseases, etc. 
So they could use something like that. We all know about Plum Island and what they've done in putting diseases and creating things like Lyme's disease, Lyme's disease and putting diseases inside of insects that can transmit it to humans. So that looks like it could be something in play for the next outbreak to get people, of course, to take a potion. And we all know how the script goes. So that's over on the website. And one last thing, if you haven't subscribed to my other channel, do so now. Next week, I will be uploading only over there. So if you like listening to my videos, videos like the one I'm about to do, please make sure you're subbed to that channel. This channel, I will not be uploading on all the time. So you'll get some videos here and there on this channel. Don't unsubscribe, but make sure if you want really good daily content, you subscribe to it now. It is linked below. Pause the video and do so now if you haven't yet, because this video will not be up for long. And then you'll be like, oh, whatever happened to the video? I was going to click on it later today. Nope. Do it now. Okay. So the Simpsons, I talked about sigil magic. There's a lot of, you know, things going on with this story. Every story that is pushed down our throats on every mainstream media channel, whether it's Fox News, MSNBC, usually has an agenda behind it. They never cover real news. They always cover something that has an agenda behind it. Now, sometimes you might say, what's the agenda behind going down the Titanic? Well, the Titanic was obviously something that was done and is responsible for the creation, really, of the Federal Reserve. As most of you should know, uh, J.P. Morgan, you know, Chase Bank, was one of the people who was on the ship conveniently and got off the ship, even though the ship wasn't really a Titanic, it was the Olympic. It was pretty much like the, uh, you know, what we would call in today's society a clunker boat. And of course, they started a fire inside that ship and sunk the ship deliberately. The people who were on that ship, a lot of them were opposed to the creation of the Federal Reserve. Now we see where the world is run by the Federal Reserve, and you can see the connection and why they're obsessed with the Titanic, and they constantly talk about it over and over again. They glorify these things that have to do with the rise of the occult in our society and the controlling system that they have over all of us. So they're talking about this all over the place. There's a couple things I'll show you here. First, let's talk about James Cameron, who obviously has deep ties to the occult. All the movies that he's done, whether it's Titanic, which is giving you misinformation, false information about the sinking of the Titanic, but glorifying it as well, to Terminator, where we're seeing, you know, when we've always talked about Terminator and how that's the future and blah, 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 and Skynet. Well, look at it now. It's People are still going, oh, yeah, you're a conspiracy theorist. Oh, yeah, it's going to be like Terminator. They're actually openly talking about the dangers of AI, which we've all warned about. And eventually, yes, that predictive program at Terminator will be our current society. And then you go into things like Avatar, which I've talked about with the metaverse. And, you know, we actually have people who are on the Internet, a lot of losers out there who obviously uh, are, you know, pleasuring themselves to pictures of avatars and anime and all this stuff. So human beings, again, an avatar, the, the, if you've seen the deep rooted messaging in avatar, which I did cover at one point, I at least had a video about that with transhumanism over the years. Uh, these are all things that James Cameron's talking about. So James Cameron, of course, is on every single news station all of a sudden. And how convenient he's gone on. How many trips has James Cameron gone on to visit the Titanic himself? I mean, the Olympic. Last night, the famed Titanic director, who's made 33 dives to the site. Last night, the famed Titanic director, who's made 33 dives to the site. Oh, right. He's been on there 33 times. How convenient. And for those of you that don't know, here's a clip from The Simpsons where you pretty much have the same script. Father and son, just like the father from the World Economic Forum and his son went on this ship and this ship went down and... Very interestingly enough, a father and son were supposed to be in that same sp exact spot and they backed out of going. And then another father and son took the spot, took the place. And that matches up exactly with the Simpsons. Is that a coincidence? You tell me. You know, you have seats on this. Who's, why would a son be on there, right? You have all these individuals on there. They had two seats. It could have been two individuals. No, it was a father, son. They backed out. So they were replaced by another father and son. Hmm, interestingly enough, how we know J.P. Boring backed out and got off the Titanic slash Olympic when it sank, just like we know people who were in certain towers who got phone calls and were told not to go into work that day, or certain people who, you know, conveniently told us stories how they got off of planes, if we want to believe their planes or not, that's up to you. But this is, ladies and gentlemen, The Simpsons showing you pretty much the same exact script. Hey, I'm filled with joy, searching for treasure with my long lost son. My dream for each of you is that you find the happiness I feel today. These waters contain some of Mother Nature's most stunning creatures. That's what you get for being luminous, jerks. Homer, look! The treasure of Pizzo Mahado! Hey guys, we found the treasure. When I get
get to shore, I'm bringing it right to the bar. I'll see you soon, Hoba. Oh, that must be him over there. So the Simpsons producer, of course, because people are talking about this, actually went on Ocean Gate. That's right, the Simpsons producer, Mike Rice, went on Ocean Gate last year. So 20-something years ago, when this clip comes out, where they have a father and son going down to visit the Titanic and they run out of oxygen, kind of like what occurred in a sense, even though the thing imploded. I'm not saying the story's real or the story's fake. I'm telling you that when these stories are covered and pushed down our throats, it involves sigil magic, which is them showing us ahead of time and then creating these events. And these events are created either as sacrifice rituals or mass distractions that they use when something else is going on. Now, obviously, the conservative media is talking about this in regards to the Biden distraction, right? Oh, well, they did this so that nobody would be talking about Biden and his son and tax evasion and owning illegally owning a gun. Well, that fits into the left-right paradigm, so that could tell us that this story obviously is just made up to infuriate more people from hiding that story from society, pretty much, because all the mainstream media outlets were just covering this. But there are stories that occur every day, I tell people this, that could easily be mainstream media stories. I remember I got suggested a video like a month ago, uh, and it was you know some couple that was snorkeling on an island, and they were a good distance from the boat, but still close enough to the boat where people should see them. The boat left. The people were left out in the middle of the ocean. The people eventually drowned. They went missing for a few days at first because nobody knew where they were. Then they found them drowned on the ocean. I mean, these are stories all the time that happen that they could cover. There's a story every day in every town that could be a mainstream media uh, news story. They choose which ones they put out there because there's always agendas tied behind it. And if there's not an agenda tied behind, because we can't look at this and we can't say, well, it's racially motivated or it's gender motivated or et cetera, et cetera, then it's there as a distraction or a part of sigil magic. So the guy who created the show was, was interviewed, la uh, the Simpsons episode was laughing about the entire incident. And they're trying to say that, oh, well, the whole thing's been debunked, you know. This is Mike Rice, an executive producer of The Simpsons, opening up about past voyages in Ocean Gate. In an interview with ABC News Wednesday, Rice said that he's done four voyages with the company, including one to the site of the Titanic shipwreckage, Ocean Gate uh, submersible, making the same trip went missing this week. And of course, you know, the story is that this thing, they heard the explosion on the weekend, last weekend, and it took them four days to announce that these people were dead, and they kept everybody drawn in. Lots of times, even though they're telling us about the Biden story and about, oh, you know, it's a distraction from that, lots of times, like we saw at the Patriot Act, these things happen underneath where there's bills that are passed and then you just eventually find out that a bill's been passed and you're like, wait, what? Like the Patriot Act. Nobody knew the Patriot Act got passed until way after the fact. And they were like, oh, you didn't know that we're listening in on your phone calls? You're like, what? The government's listening to our phone calls? Like, yeah, we passed a bill to protect you from Al-Qaeda. Huh? What? Yeah. Oh, okay. What? How did that happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you weren't paying attention. Lots of times that's another thing that they do with these. But I always just cover these things to show you because sigil magic is a thing that people need to know about. Whether you want to say that this is a coincidence or not, that's up to you in this case with something like this. But there's a reason these stories get promoted, and sigil magic is a huge part of it. They show you this stuff in advance, okay, and then they perform these acts. It's almost like, you know, part of magic that has become mainstream that people talk about. They're like, if, well, if you think it enough, you bring, you know, if you think about it enough, you can summon it into existence. It's some expression like that that people use all the time. That's witchcraft, right? They're like, oh, well, you know, if you, if you want it bad enough and you, you just conjure it in your head over and over again, it'll happen to you. That's a form of witchcraft. Obviously, it involves other things like, uh, you know, blood and babies and all that stuff. But these are forms of witchcraft that they're normalizing in our society. So sigil magic at play. I wanted to show you that clip. Of course, James Cameron conveniently on 33 trips. I mean, there's always signs and symbols right in front of our faces. Do I believe the story is real? Uh, probably not. I mean, most stuff that they cover isn't, and they get people all worked up into these things. But I just thought it was interesting that you should see that. And again, I want to remind everyone, the video of The Flash is available on the website as well as a lot of other exclusive content. Make sure you subscribe now to my other channel below. I will be uploading there exclusively from a couple days from now 
on into the future. This channel I will continue visiting and uploading on, but uh, make sure you do so now. There's a lot of stuff that we need to talk about, a lot of stuff that needs to be shared. Uh, our time is short, even though the devil's time is shorter. So I thank everyone for being here. Hope you're all doing well. God bless you, as always, and your families.